So I am a veterinary doctor. Um, I have always loved working with animals. But towards the end of my course, I started baking a lot. And um, I even practiced as a vet for one and a half years. But um, I thought that I should give this a shot and see where this goes because this is something I really love to. So eventually I do wish to find a balance between both of these where I'm able to do both these things. Basically I've always, uh, at least the name, it, it's always been close to me ever since I read The Wind in the Willows as a child. So uh, since then it's always been that and um, when I was studying uh, baking and pastry at Lavon, I met my uh, business partner Chaitali and um, sometime in December we decided to do this together because uh, we've always gotten along really well and our ideas have always been similar and uh, I love working with her. The essential team of the Willow Bake Shop is me, Chaitali and Imad. Um, Chaitali and I are pastry chefs and Imad I would say is um, a chef who does everything. So most of, most of the most experimental things are done by him. Yeah, all our theme dinners, bringing up new things to the menu, approving what we do, stuff like that. Imad, he has uh, taken care of uh, setting this whole place up in terms of decor and also in terms of our theme dinners that we do. He's the mind behind all of that and also introducing some new things into our menu. Like, um, since our menu keeps changing, we have some odd things sometimes. There's like, there's, there's fudge out some days. Or, you know, the butterbeer that's here, it's his recipe that, you know, he's put together that has been inspired by Harry Potter. I always dreamt of having a cafe. Like since the time I was a teen, I thought I want to serve people food because I love food. So yeah, and I never thought of becoming a chef or any of that sort or go and study, you know, pastry or anything like that. But um, like as I started growing up and you know, studied to be a chartered accountant and stuff like that, I started cooking a lot more than baking. Baking happened to me a day when a friend of mine baked the most disgusting, tasteless cupcakes for me. She's gonna kill it, kill me if it ever goes live. But yeah, she made these horrible cupcakes and then I signed her up for a cupcake class. She went for it, came and gave me those yummier cupcakes. And I was like, wow, this is damn good. And it was damn easy to make. I want to bake and I want to work towards my dream of opening a cafe. So then I enrolled at Lavon. After a month, I met Sujit. Um, we were in the same kitchen. I think we used to dance while baking stuff and that's when I realized I met the person I can work with. When we designed the menu, we had this uh, thing very clear with us that we are incorporating all flavor profiles. So if you come to the below, I don't think so, you will walk out with any I mean, you shouldn't be walking out with any craving because we've tried to cover all flavor profiles. So if you want citrus, we have citrus. You crave a banana, we have a banana. You want some berries, we have berries. So there is not a flavor that we missed. Still, you know, people always want something more. For the below, like, um, we want to take this to Bali or some Asian country. That's our plan. Uh, how do I see myself? I think I'm going to be a better chef. Every day I learn something new here.